I really want to run through that, but I don't know that that's the greatest idea I've had all day. After that hail storm yesterday, we checked all the fields around the farm and so I'm a little ways away, but now I'm gonna head way down south this morning. Since it's so wet, we can't really do much. We can't pick any rock. The combines are pretty much ready. Watching the radar, I don't think those fields got any hail, but just to ease of mind, I'm gonna go take a look at them and see once what we got. Just to see how ripe they are too, see how far away from harvest we are down there as well. I wanna get in here where these beans are a little bit drier. They're pretty green back here on the headland. Yeah, I don't think these got hail at all. I think these look good. They're ripening up awfully quick though. We cannot seem to keep the weeds out of here though. Up on the hill, you can see them. This, this end of this field, I don't, I don't know what to do here. It's ridiculous. Man, this is a giant bean crop though. Well, I'm told that almost everybody in the family, in the house is sick this morning. So don't got a lot of help today. I got a few things I wanna get done, I guess. That's fine. Uh, it never fails every single year. This time of year, we always seem to get sick either right during, right after, or right before harvest. At least this year, it's right before harvest. So what I'm doing now, we have some family friends that got some kids that wanna do some deer youth hunting. So I'm gonna go feed some deer and get a blind set up for them. Then we'll see what happens after that. The side-by-side -side ride is really helping with the hairdo. My oh my, did that hail just shred this corn up here last night. I mean, it's too far along to hurt anything, but it definitely did some damage. Well, while I'm out here, I think I wanna pull a couple cobs and see what our moisture is on this corn. I mean, we're looking pretty ripe. It's, we're definitely on the tail end. Most every cob everywhere is dented. You find a couple green spots that aren't completely dented yet, but I think we're about finished. I took my two cobs, shelled them out. It feels wet. I, we're nowhere close to corn harvest yet, but we'll go find a tester and see what it says. It's alive. Corn, low moisture. I don't even think that's gonna work. I'm gonna have to switch it to high moisture, but we'll try. Moisture above limit, I figured. 36.8, I think we're a long ways away from harvest yet. Well, how does it go again? You dry a point a day if you're, how warm, I don't remember. I hope it makes it. 36%, that's a long ways from 14. They look like huge kernels, but I suppose the time they get dry, they're gonna be smaller yet. So a few videos ago, I was avoiding pulling in the semis into the shed here so I wouldn't have to redo with the cleaning me and Cameron just did. But today I'm gonna do that. At least I gotta enjoy a clean shed for a little while, shop I should say. And plus it's already a little bit dirty anyway. After that raid yesterday, the yard is kind of muddy, but everything's ready. It's too muddy to go to the field and pick rock. I don't know what else to do. I gotta do something. So I'm gonna pull them in and grease them. First I gotta back these two pickups out or move them to appropriate areas. I think just moving that one will do. I should be able to pull the truck right in beside that pickup. On our farm, we're not haters of different brands. We got all of them. We got Ram, we got Chevy, and we got Ford. They're all good. They're all different. It's nice to have something different. I don't know, me, myself, I'm maybe more of a Chevy or GMC guy, but they all work. They all do the same thing. They all pull. Which one do I start with down here? Any, mini, miny, mo. I think I'm gonna start with the blue one here, just cause it's on the outside. Okay, now that we're in on a clean floor where it's not so muddy, all I gotta do is grease, check a few of the tires, check all my oil levels and my hubs, and all the fluids in this, and get it fueled up and they should be field ready. So it's not a lot, but it's gotta get done, and I don't wanna do it last minute, so we're gonna hop to. I gotta try to remember where all the grease circs are down here. I know there's a lot. There's like 12 of them just on this side. So what's everyone's least favorite job on a farm? Mine is either shoveling on a grain bin or greasing. I hate this job because I wear more grease than I get in my fittings that I'm trying to grease. It never fails, but I'm gonna get started here. I got the first trailer greased. And those of you that can grease without completely wearing it, I know you're lying. You didn't actually grease 
whatever you're trying to do. It is not possible to grease and not wear everything. We are just a tad under full. I think I'm gonna call that good though. My antifreeze here looks like it could maybe use a little bit. I'm gonna top that off and then I'm gonna see if I can find a window washer fluid reservoir. There we go. That's what we need. This truck is done. I'm gonna get the other two in here and get those repeated process. Well, Cameron did an awesome one here and ripped the mud flap off. Problem is, it broke the plastic here in the corner. So the only real way to fix it would be to buy this whole new, what do you call that, wheel well thing of a bobber. Yeah, he done broke it. He broke it good. Well, that may not be the right proper way to do it, just re-drilling new holes and instead of doing the whole new fender. But it's a heck of a lot cheaper. That's gonna work. It's hanging there. That ain't gonna rip off any easier than that one over there. So we're gonna call that good. And it looks almost just as natural. Well, rinse and repeat, blue truck. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the red truck. You can see on the truck here though, where we got the hail, the hailstones were like scrubbing the road grime off. I don't think it did any damage, but. Really? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, I'm under the truck and I run out of grease. And there's no one in the shop. Help! Help! I'm stuck. Oh. I hate this job. We're back and I got some grease. There we go. That was a lot of work for almost nothing. Think skinny thoughts. Mm. Whew, that's tight. Oh man, I got grease in my hair. There's grease on the ground there. I hate this job. I'm glad this is the last one. Well, the last truck is done here. I just gotta get it backed out. That's a little too close for comfort there. A little too close in as I think I maybe ran over the corner of it. Don't tell dad. Payload is in my way here, so I can't pull up straight. But I'm hoping we're close enough to get the depth hose here. Come on, please reach. Oh, perfect. That's one not good thing about having new trucks is that stuff. Well, I can't think of what else to do right now in the shed or on the farm. And it looks like it kind of dried up a little bit. So I'm gonna run the payload of there and bring rock piles to this hole and bury them. I don't want to see them again. I'm out here on this prairie hilltop here trying to get it to burn so it exposes all the surface rock so i can see them a little better when i want to break it up here and start digging the rock out with the excavator there's a lot of old dead stuff down there the problem is it's just not very dry you know what i think this might work i'm gonna jump in the excavator and make a little buffer so it doesn't get away on me it's looking like i might need to hurry my ass up though you know, I think this will work just right for a one-man show like myself here. It's burning nice and slow. It's burning out when it gets to the already cut stuff. I think I'm gonna keep slowly going along here and see if I can't get this sucker to burn. So this is the side I'm gonna start first. The direction the wind's going, just so it won't get away on me. Once I get a good barrier going here of burnt material, I'll go to the, call the upwind side and we'll burn it all the way across this way a lot quicker. For a buffer, I just took the excavator here and drove back and forth a few times to make this trail. I really don't think it's gonna burn across that because it's still barely dry enough to burn for me. Before I get too ahead of myself here, I'm gonna stop lighting and make sure my buffer is gonna work that it's not gonna burn past me here. It's looking like it is. The excavator bashed into that wet soil and I made that material wet. 
just as long as it doesn't jump the little thing. Just low and slow, nothing out of control. Low and slow. The smoke definitely burns in the eyes. We're gonna call Brandon real quick, see if he's busy, if he can come up here. Just to give me another set of eyes on this thing, just to be on the safe side. Well, that brother was busy. Let's call a different brother. It's nice when you got a few of these on hand, you can just bring them up. Next brother. I'm burning the hill here so we can dig the rock out. It's going good, but nice to have another person there we go we got the video editor coming up to help me so i'm gonna keep going keep watching like yeah just keep watching the edges i don't really want it burning down that way all that far so maybe take it out here once it goes so far i'm gonna keep lighting the more and more that sun goes down the damper and damper it's gonna get and it's not gonna burn on me kind of a scary thing when my field's on fire even though i'm doing it on purpose okay i do not want this fire continuing in the pasture and going on the fence line here so what's left, I'm just gonna stomp out here so it quits. Taking all that dead grass and exposing them rock now. So now I can much easier see them when I'm up in the machine, get them dug out and get this all broke up so we can farm it. Is the fire behaving? Yeah, it did well. Yeah, I did. I stepped it out on the fence line down there and that was it. This thing lit on fire at me at one point and started burning my hand. That was cool. That was exciting. Like yeah, I loved it. I really want to run through that, but I don't know that that's the greatest idea I've had all day. This rock I'm standing on here looks like it's going to be a big one. We're going to need the big excavator for that one. This one here is not too small either. I made us more work. Yeah, you should unburn the entire field, please. I'll leave this one up to you. You got these rocks. Oh, yeah. Well, like I was telling JT, I'm going to go dig in the large excavator for a while. Just so I can kind of keep an eye on what's left smoldering here. Make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment. I like responding to you guys. Thanks for watching everyone.